There had been many times he wanted to have a PowerPoint inside your Resolum Arena or Avenue. Not only just PowerPoint, you can also input any live data from any web browser such as weather, maybe maps or maybe live TikTok feed if you want to remix that. In this video, we will learn three ways to get your PowerPoint or Keynote or any live video feed inside Resolume and you can do all crazy things that Resolume can do to a PowerPoint feed. First, we are going to learn how to do it with two computers or two laptops in our case. Here, we are going to use one laptop to play the presentation and we are going to use Resolume on the other one, which will serve most of the common cases we are going to face. Same thing applies for PC or Mac. So in the first method, we are going to use an USB capture like this or maybe like this. This method is pretty simple and flat to go. Let's check out what this laptop has as a display output. We can see this laptop has an HDMI output, but we're gonna use this USB-C to a lot of thing converter. It's a hub, very useful hub. This has two HDMI outputs. So we're gonna get this signal output from HDMI and capture. In this demonstration, we're gonna use this small USB capture device called Elgato Camlink 4K, which gives you 4K capture if you give it enough signal. And to give better video signal, you need to have a better HDMI cable. So always spend behind better cables. Let's connect this HDMI cable to the laptop's output. Also connect the other end to the capture device, then connect it to the laptop using Resolume. So first, let's make sure our output is duplicate so that if we are playing the presentation here, the entire display, whatever we are seeing here, goes to the capture card. Let's run Resolume on the other computer. So now we have an empty project here. Let's check the composition and okay, let's change the resolution to 4K. Cause it's 2023, baby. Let's go for sources and Camlink 4K. Let's drop the Camlink 4K as a clip. Let's fire it. Okay, so we can see our presentation here. So now we can just present something on Resolume. Voila, everything is happening on the PowerPoint, but we are doing everything else on Resolume. Let's drop some effects because we can. Let's bloom out our presentation because we can again. No, that's too crazy. Let's displace our presentation like this. So in the first method, we need a good capture device and a good HDMI cable. That's it. Now the second method is called NDI. If you don't know about NDI, NDI is a protocol for high quality video, audio and data transfer over a simple IP network or maybe a complex WAN. It deals with live video and other media between different devices and software applications on the same network. NDI is a free protocol upgrading every day and getting more awesome. You can download NDI tools from the link given in the description below. So download it and install in both the laptops. This is gonna install bunch of small apps in your laptops done but how do we connect these two laptops together simple we are going to use cat6 for that cat6 is a cable that we usually use to connect to a network in this demonstration we are going to use this cisco 16 port switcher any network switcher with a good data transfer can do it i highly suggest you not to buy a chip switcher if you are planning to use ndi let's connect both the laptop to the switcher since both the laptops are pretty modern and ditched many of the essential ports we're gonna use this USB-C to CAT6 hub to getting the Ethernet ports. Next, we hook them, plug them and play them. This switcher needs no configuration. Most good ones won't need any configuration for a basic task like this. Now on the presentation laptop, let's run NDI HX. And that's it. Now on our Resolume laptop, let's go to sources and look for the source we want. In my case, this one. Okay, so we got our PowerPoint presentation in it. This includes all the animations inside, such as this one. So in this method, all we need is two CAT6 cables and a very good switcher. If you like this video, hit a like, maybe subscribe as well. As said before, there's another way to do the same thing using one computer. In that case, you will have to hook a secondary monitor to play your presentation like that and capture that inside your Resolume. So now, let's run NDI HX. On sources in Resolume, let's look for NDI sources. This machine is called Zenbook. This one is supposed to be our 
presentation right now. Yes. So now we have our PowerPoint inside our resume. Let's check it out. Okay, we are talking a lot of things, a lot of PowerPoint animations going on right inside resume. Note that you wouldn't need any cable or converter to do this thing if you're doing from one computer. But your NDI won't work if you're not connected to any network device. The simple hack is just turn your Wi-Fi on but don't connect to any network. This will help NDI to have a network device to stay somewhere safe not to get lost. So instead of using a switcher between Resolume and your PowerPoint's output, why did we take the capture inside Resolume? Why? Let me show you. In this example, I have a demo key event visual or KV. The one we will start from and get back to every time a segment is finished, like a wallpaper maybe, but branded one. So in this example, we will have our key visual in bottom layer. So whenever the presentation is ready, I can just fire the layer above and slowly fade into the PowerPoint and maybe fade out as soon as the presentation is done. In the next example, we have made this custom look transforming the visual source. In the next example, I have placed some video with alpha channel on top of the video source and now I can control the visibility of both anytime I want. Now in this example I have used Google Maps to show some location and on the source clip we used a crop effect to crop out the parts we don't want to see and added a drop shadow to fake a 3D look on the background. So we can navigate Google Maps on this laptop but manipulate it here on the other computer inside Resolume. I hope this video helped you to know the steps you need to do to get a PowerPoint or any display source into your Resolume. Don't forget to write down in the comments below what's your workflow of using similar technique. So if you want to learn another great trick using Resolume, click here. And if you want to learn how to make awesome 3D stages very easily, click here. See you next time.